What's up, Gaming Nation? We're continuing on with our Building a Gaming PC series. This time we're looking at the $500 gaming PC build. Uh, as you can see from our $400 build to this build, you'll see that we decided to mainly upgrade the CPU, graphics card, and even our computer case to accommodate a bigger graphics card. This build couples the i3-3220 along with the new GTX 650 Ti Boost which is getting rave reviews all over the place. A, a card to compare that to would be the Radeon HD uh, 7, 7790, a really good card as well. Both of them you can get around um, the $149 price range. Might might be able to get the 7790 cheaper at this point in time simply because the GTX 650 Ti Boost was such a shock to so many people. I've read articles about how well it performs in SLI. If those of you who uh, have a little bit more money might consider doing something like that. Anyway, making it uh, the featured card for this particular build wasn't a question in my mind. I'm going to have benchmarks below where you can see just how well this card does. Um, I've seen overclockers be able to put it uh, in excess of the 660's performance. So really something you guys ought to take a look at. Because we're going with an Intel processor, we're also going back to an LGA 1155 motherboard and the uh, MSI H61M-P31. Pretty inexpensive motherboard overall, but we're trying to fit in a lot of performance in this $500 budget. We also have uh, the same power supply that we used before. Case, we're going to the uh, Cooler Master Elite 430, one of my favorite cases. I try to get the one with the window because I like to look at it. Yeah, a little bit of a show-off, but uh, it's what I like to, uh, to have. So... Uh, Cooler Master cases make it extremely easy to take stuff, pull it in and out, and things like that. Uh, we're going with the same optical drive and hard drive as we did before. Some of you might be asking why we went with the i3-3220 uh, instead of a processor like the FX6300. And simply, uh, the reason for this is because we're looking for max gaming performance out of these builds. And you're going to get that with the i3-3220 versus the FX6300. Now, if you don't have to have the max FPS, okay, then going with something like the 6300 might be a good idea if you need like a workstation or you have a lot of, uh, you, you leave a lot of apps open uh, or you have software that's very, uh, uh, very thread intensive. Uh, hey, you can stick with the 6300 in that case. So overall, if you've got about uh, $500 to spend, this is a great way to go about it. The i3-3220 along with the 650 Ti Boost allows you to spend about 60% of your overall budget or uh, $280 to $300 on your graphics card and CPU combination. That's really what you want to do in this price range. Focus on in-game performance, uh, leaving maybe everything to the side. You might want to get a bigger hard drive than what I did here. You could spend about $7 to $10 doing so. Um, but overall, think of the performance you're going to get with this build. I mean, you can literally play uh, most games on high settings, 1920 by 1080 p resolution without a problem, in and out of the door at 500 bucks. Let me know what you guys think of this build. If you think you have a better one, I'd love to hear about it. So would everybody that uh, is listening to this video. Please comment below in the comment section. Uh, if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe button and stick around for our $600 PC build. Also check out our $400 PC build if $500 is your budget for some additional information. This particular video was updated uh, was uh, uploaded June 2013. So if you're looking at this later on, be sure to go to my website, uh, www.top10gamer.com. I'll have a link of it in the description below where you can find this build updated each and every single month. Since hardware changes uh, so often, it's just a really good idea to check that out and get an idea of what kind of rebates and, and sale prices are out there. Okay, so for today's funny moment of the day, I just wanted to let you guys know that I ship my pants. I also ship my drawers. No, this is from Kmart, a funny commercial. If you guys are 12 years old like me at heart and you like really immature stuff, check out our funny moment of the day. It's this Kmart commercial where they're talking about shipping your pants. Shipping your pants there. Go ahead, guys. It's okay to ship your pants. Everybody, everybody ships their pants. Only the cool kids ship their pants. So make sure you ship your pants too.